Hey guys, Professor Joe Aller. We're here at Hensel Gracie Holmdel. Today we're going to take a look at a series on Butterfly Guard using 2 on 1 control to Army G18 to Anaconda Choke. Alright. So, I'm inside my Butterfly Guard. I got my 2 on 1. I like to use a 2 on 1 because anytime I can dominate the man's one arm with two of mine, I'm always at better control than him. Alright? So I got my 2 on 1. The only thing that happens here is that the guy usually puts the hands on the chest and tries to pull the other one out. So when this happens, I'm going to let it go. And I'm just going to go 2 on 1 right on the other side. Whenever I have two on one on the other side now, my foot is just going to give a little pop on the knee and I'm going to pull forward. Once he comes forward, I'm immediately going to come in and lock my arm and guillotine. Alright? To finish this, my hands are going to go high and I'm going to lay to the side and put my head directly over his. Give a little squeeze and get a nice easy finish. Alright? From the other side, we're inside, we're hand fighting, I get my two on one. He goes to defend it by putting the hand on the chest, I'm going to let it go and just go two on one on the other side. From here, I give a little pop on the knee and pull forward. It puts me directly into my arm and guillotine. Now, sometimes when we're finishing the arm and guillotine, we have problems, right? Nothing works all the time. So I'm here, I'm trying to finish my arm and guillotine, and it's not working, all right? The good news is, from here, I can use my left hook that's still inside and just give a little bump with it and take him over. As I take him over, it directly lands him into an anaconda choke. From here, I put my feet on the mat, I scoot, I scoot, and then I squeeze for the finish. All right? Make sure you guys give that a try. Check out our website, rjhomeda.com. Like our Facebook page, and I'll see you guys on the next.